I think we're living in a very complicated and difficult time for the world economy. What has been called by many academics and commentators as a polycrisis. Governments during this time feel that they have a responsibility to provide good jobs for their citizens. It is also important that governments ensure that workers have the right skills that they need to pick up the kind of jobs that are highly productive, highly technologically enabled and automated, and are suitable for the fourth industrial revolution. Key among these challenges is being able to fully exploit all the productivity improvements that automation can bring, particularly in the manufacturing sector, and also to climb their way into the frontier of innovation. This is where an initiative that the World Economic Forum, Singapore government, as well as other partners, comes into play. These partners together created the Global Siri, or Smart Industry Readiness Index. The Smart Industry Readiness Index helps SMEs discover where they are in terms of benchmarking them to their peers in the same sector or industry and identifying their strengths and weaknesses so that they can develop plans to improve on these and then thereafter monitoring their progress in that regard. The Global Siri has been promulgated to over 850 companies in more than 30 countries. I think we all recognize that in different industries, from electronics to precision engineering, there is a lot of room for the use of greater innovation, greater automation to improve the value add of each sector. The use of artificial intelligence has provided a lot of new applications and new solutions to all problems. And I think this is one of the big pieces a lot of companies need to bear in mind when they are creating their manufacturing roadmaps or even services firms in their service roadmaps. Sustainability and the green economy is something that the Singapore government takes very seriously. In this regard, and particularly for manufacturing, Many efforts have been undertaken to make each company more aware of its carbon footprint and thereafter to help introduce it to novel uh, carbon abatement measures uh, so that it can play its part in the fight against climate change. They will require a panoply of technologies from things that improve energy efficiency to renewable energy sources to batteries to electric vehicles and all the way to the use of hydrogen, especially green hydrogen, as well as carbon capture, utilization, and sequestration. And this will require dissemination of productivity techniques to a wide number of manufacturers to be used in factories of the future. This can actually benefit the world community as a whole.